terminal value one core pillar of terminal value is leadership and uh, it's easy to identify leadership stocks or leadership companies in any sector banks hdf bank food delivery zomato jewelry titan cement ultratech so would you be buying these leadership stocks where mega trends are we are looking at existing and potential leaders okay. stocks which can become leaders in their respective field you know and you know it's a very good question that you asked the the one big example that we discussed you know for long mm. period of, uh, mm. the the jewelry company that was a leader to start so the misconception happens if, if you're looking at multi baggers you need to get micro caps or small caps no that's not the point mm. uh, we have example after example of of companies in 2006 the largest biscuits company for example mm. the largest uh, home paint company the pay, ha yeah. so all the companies were last to start with but they mm. continued to mm. compound it uh, so it across the board it mm. does, there is no bias towards market cap there is no mm. bias towards you know uh, any sector uh, leaders can emerge from anywhere or existing leaders themselves can continue to compound will you shy away from buying ipos would you wait for companies which have a 5 7 year track record then only will they qualify as part of the portfolio a lot of fund managers follow that i mean nalanda we would look at at least a 5 to 7 year history below, below before it qualifies the cut for us to be part of their portfolio sure. would you follow that kind of an rule uh, no uh, if i am able to give a valuation to the company then i would definitely consider it so if i have enough data for the future mm-hmm. or enough visibility or a view on the future whether it's some sort of target addressable market or the company's growth plans etc then i don't mind putting some value to it and then check whether the ipo price is worth it or not uh, so I, I, it does not matter to me whether the company has had a profitability record for the last 2 3 years or not provided i have a visibility for the future will tactical trades be part of this portfolio every fund man- manager has to identify tactical trades it could be metals it could be it it for that matter could be psu banks what about the tactical allocation of this portfolio uh, tactical we would like to avoid as far as possible but you know sometimes as you rightly mentioned for me for example oil marketing companies they will never be strategic plays mm-hmm. but at some point in time they become so cheap that you can see that there is a 50 80 percent upside and we have seen that you know pop happen from time to time uh, commodities again i don't think commodities are a strategic buy uh, but if china for example right now mm. is coming back and there is a increase in demand the fact that these commodities were beaten down for so long mean may mean a tactical trade so maybe 5 10% of the portfolio can be in those ideas but not as a conscious uh, decision your fund is right now open for subscription and it was on and soon it will uh, declare its public nav So, what will the portfolio be like when it will be open for public scrutiny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think the three themes that we have identified, uh, uh, most of them, if you notice, but you would start. Teams. You would be fully invested. It's not that you're waiting, not that you're raising cash and waiting for a market to decline to deploy it. Uh, not, no, that's not a cash call that we would like to do because anyway, it's closing on the nineteenth, mm-hmm. and the first NAV should be published towards the end of the month. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. we are not really looking to time the market uh, as long as we are comfortable with the stocks that we wanted we will probably go ahead so my guess is 2 to 4 weeks uh, we should be able to deploy the funds okay uh, if you like this video then like share and subscribe to et now 